So that was about the numerical aspect. The other thing which is often neglected, I feel, is the theoretical aspect of it. You get a few, like maybe 20%, like I can't put a number, but you do get a few theoretical questions as well in physics, you know, which is direct theory and almost all the time it is lifted straight from NCRT. A lot of people neglect NCRT in physics because they only look at this part of it, of, you know, how you have to go beyond NCRT and how NCRT alone is not enough for physics. That is only partly true, I feel. Like, even NCRT alone, you see that all these things, I'm only talking about understanding what is given in NCRT in a more comprehensive and complete manner. So, in a way, that is also NCRT-based, right? But one place where NCRT is directly of use to you is in theoretical questions because those are almost always picked up directly from NCRT. A lot of people don't read NCRT and they lose out here because of that. I did, I remember, when I was initially preparing and I hadn't given due importance to NCRT. So let me hit that. Revise NCRT text. For theory. This will ensure that those few questions which are theory based and th that's another way you can save time. Those are directly theoretical. You read the question and you'll know the answer if you know the answer. And you can save a lot of time there which you can use for the more uh, calculative questions. So that's about it. The This I think in, to put it in short. For numerical portion, read NCRT, but read beyond NCRT as well. Solve questions which are beyond NEET level, while at the same time not neglecting what is NEET level because it helps you improve your speed and, you know, uh, calculation, efficiency and speed. Again, speed only there. And revise NCRT text for the theoretical questions. Uh, that's about it. Those are all the tips I have. Hope it helps you out. Thank you so much. Good luck with your preparation.